or well before this video really starts um i just wanted to put this out there so another bef the best way to make the easiest for free you're gonna come down you're gonna click free currency now i've already done this about five times it gives you it about five times before you're able to before you have to wait 12 hours so you're gonna click that you're gonna click watch video right when the video starts um make sure you swipe up and delete the tab for pixel gun come back in and you should have your money you'll be able to do it about five times another thing to do is when the when there's stuff like this cookie thing it should say subscribe over here and it'll give you 25 free gems to subscribe i've already done this but that, i just wanted to put that out there before the video What is up YouTube, it's Ronnie back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be playing more Pixel Gun, but today I'm not only going to be playing Pixel Gun, I'm going to be showing you guys the best ways to make money in Pixel Gun for completely free. So, starting off with the most basic one, you're always going to try to get the Lucky Chest. Every day, it gets for free, or you can open it for three um, gems. Or you can watch a free video, watch a video for a free um, spin. But um, I would just wait every day to get that just because of how good it is and how much it can help you. Next up, um, always get pets. So anytime you get a new egg, um, for example, I just got an ancient egg. Now pets in general aren't going to make you money. It's the fact that they can help you in games get kills or in campaign or they really do help me a lot. Sometimes if I'm weak, they'll go up on someone. And when your pet kills someone, it gives you a lot of XP. which can help you make money. I just got a cat. Red panda. Owl. Eagle. Now, the pets I have, I'm sticking with my best one, which is a level 7 um, Travis the Sink. I don't know what its original name was, but I named it Travis the Sink. It's a 17 plus 5 efficiency, and its speed is 4. Respawn is 15 seconds. Now, I'll show you. Um, I don't remember where. I think I got this from a magic chest or an ancient chest. The other two I have is a 11 plus 6 T-Rex and a mammoth, which is Travis the Cat, which is 17 plus 5. Which is actually the same as Travis the Sink. But that one's literally better. So I might... I don't know. I'm just going to stick with Travis the Sink. Because I like it better. Um, next, you're going to want to get modules. Modules can help your damage do... Help your guns do more damage. And just going to help you all around. So I would recommend getting them. What I would recommend getting is stuff like tools and throw i wouldn't really recommend throwing objects because i would just stick with the grenades but come to okay so come to your armory go down to gadgets click tools i would recommend the demon stone the robot samurai the jetpack if you're still uh trying to get enough money for the demon stone or the samurai thing um, I'd start off with the jetpack, then go for one of these two. The rest of it, I wouldn't really recommend. I mean, you can get it if you want. Um, this one is pretty good, and they're all good. Same with this one's real good. Um, but so is, they're all good, but I would recommend these four, all, and this one too. Um, but yeah, this one's pretty good as well. I think I just got another, okay, yeah, I'm gonna... Next up, weapons I would recommend. If you're just beginning, start to go for the ones like this. Even though it's a good weapon. But, if I were to recommend any for starters, get the Sub-Zero. 
it's 40 um coins and it has it pretty much got me through every campaign this is if you want to do campaign and just for battle royale because it's really good for battle royale as well and it's only 40. it got me through every single campaign even to the bonus one on the last bonus where you get um here i'll just show you got me through this room this room this room and it got me to the bonus where you get the gun. I don't know what the heck happened to mine. Oh yeah, this. This right here. It's not the best, I have to say. It's pretty crappy, but it's good for stories. It's a bit hard to get them. And it's rare as well. Um, but yeah, starting off with primaries, I would recommend this. This is actually surprisingly a really good gun it has a 98 fire rate efficiency of seven capacity of 30 bullets mobility is 50. i would recommend it for starters same with this machine gun it's fire rate is good it's the only really good thing same with the capacity the efficiency the efficiency efficiency is not the best but it's still okay i would also recommend getting this because it's only ten dollars more then the sub zero and it has an efficiency of um three more and it has a capacity of 30 and a fire rate of 98. also if you're willing to spend real life money i would recommend getting packs like this for example you're getting all of these you can get more but i already have stuff um i already have some of the stuff so it's not showing it and it's 45 percent three free my sorry um, I also have a lot of offers that I got some, for example, I got this, 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 um, I don't know what the heck I just have, and a few other ones, so I would recommend getting offers that are cheap, around 10, 3 to 10 dollars, same with these, if you do end up getting a chance to get these, I would definitely recommend them, they're really good, they heal you, they make your opponent's head huge, like, I mean huge, so you can get free headshots, which will help with money and XP. Um, this gun is pretty good as well, but I think I'd recommend this over this, because it has a fire, it has a, um, higher fire rate. The capacity is a lot higher too, and the ability is only 5 less. Another thing I would recommend as you level up is definitely this, it's like 70, I'm pretty sure. All of these, these two... And if you're looking for good, cheap guns, I would definitely recommend the Photon Shotgun. I mean, like I said, you have to be a higher level, level 15, level 11 for this, level 13, level 14. I wouldn't recommend, I wouldn't recommend these because they're not that good. Um, This is okay. It's decent. I wouldn't really recommend it. But if you want it, you can get it. Um, This is another thing you get from offers. It's pretty good. I honestly use it quite a lot, and it's cool because it's a. It comes out of a suit, a briefcase, briefcase, and it's pretty sick. But yeah, here's all the guns I have. I'll just go through them all. Got this mini gun. This. Next, we're going to go to your backups. This gun is absolutely horrible, so do not use it. Um, let me think here. It, oh, wait, okay. This is an upgraded version of a gun, but I can't remember what gun it was. You get it from completing the Area 52 level in campaign. I don't know why I said it was horrible for, well, for people that aren't, like, just starting, it's really bad. It's okay for starters, because it's from, like I said, it's from Area 52. It's really easy to beat, um, but yeah. I think you have to get, I think you have to get all three stars, which I have every single thing I've done. All the campaigns have three stars for, well, not all of them, but most of them, and I'm trying to get three stars for all. I would recommend getting these, because they are... Another I would recommend is probably the Hitman pistol. It has a terrible pistol, but it, it gets the job done.
this one is good. It's really good for up close, but it's just terrible. I would not recommend it, and it's only bad because of the range of it. It has an attack of 63 and mobility of 65 and efficiency of 8. It's a rare Mr. DJ. But I would recommend stuff like this. This is two shot, one two shot. Um, but yeah, I would recommend getting this if you can. Here are the main ways I would recommend. If you're starting off, get either this one, this one, this one, or this one. Actually, whatever do you you do. Do not buy the hockey stick. Because there's so much better options. For example, the uh, level 6 night sword. This is so much better than the hockey stick. First of all, it, an, it has the same efficiency. Efficiency. The hockey stick is almost two times the price. It has a better attack by um, 4. And the mobility is literally the same. So why not just buy this? And it looks better anyway. Um, I would recommend getting these two, sorry, these two, and I had this, this one, this one is also really good as well. Um, these ones are pretty much the same, except for this one is a little bit better, but this one has a lot better mobility. This one has a better attack, but same efficiency. Specials. If you haven't, have not seen my last video, I did a review on the freeze right now. And holy smokes, this is one of the best weapons I have ever used. It's 390 coins, I believe. I would recommend it for the price. It is incredible. You can clap kids. They don't even have a chance. Um, Don't use this flamethrower. It really is. Oh my god. definitely recommend getting this because it can almost kill people in two to three seconds anytime i use it in any map with noobs or just any player skill i use this and they get wrecked and they think it's a normal flamethrower so whenever they just start using their normal flamethrower this thing's a crap so i just completely outplay them with this it's really worth the money i don't remember how much i paid i think it's from an offer then this thing, it's good for players. I don't, I think it was about 60 to 65 dollars. It's definitely good. This attack, um, I would recommend this one over this one, but they're both pretty much the same. This one's just a bit better. This one, this one, it's pretty much just this, but like, Ten dollars cheaper. If you were to get either, I'd definitely go with um, this one because it has an efficiency that's three, um, three more the better. Ninety for this one for fire rate. Ninety. It has better fire rate on this as you. Can. But instead, next up this. This one's a bit. I'm not gonna say, don't waste your money on it. But there's definitely better options, including these, this one. I would over this one. I would definitely take this one over the other one. It's cheaper, but not a lot, but I, a little bit. Um, but yeah, I would recommend this one over this. It has a efficiency of four more, and everything is just better on. Um, next up, I'm gonna go for this one. If you're able to hit your shots with this, this gun can be good, but it's just, when you shoot it, they fall, they have terrible range. I wouldn't really recommend buying this gun. It was cheap, it was like $90, 90 coins, so I could, it was, wait, wait, more than 110, I don't know, someone will have to check it for me. I don't know. But, um, it's, it's decent for the money. I wouldn't recommend it, but if you want to get it, you can. Um, next up, we have this one. Also, keep in mind, if you are new, um, 
it's just you most likely will not be able to get any of these so keep leveling up leveling up as you can see you can see all the prices if anyone was i mean all the prices and all the levels that you need to be to unlock these just if you're just beginning i definitely recommend this one, this one or this one over this i start off with it but it's really not good this is way better option for some and this one is even better than both of them combined. Um, look, this is a fire rate. I mean, efficiency of 5. And this is efficiency of 12. This is efficiency of 16. But moving on. This gun is good. It's just, I, I would recommend it. I don't have it because I have better options. I will. I'm trying to get every gun I can have right now. But I need to get more money. Because I blew all my money upgrading this i had like a few thousand i upgraded this and i upgraded this which is one of the best weapons in the game anyway coming back i also bought this so i'm like really broke right now moving on snipers if for starters best sniper you can get is definitely the prototype has an efficiency of 18 has a fire rate of 63 capacity of 8 mobility of 50 it's a top seller it's a level 10 but for level ones and two it is a pretty good sniper i've gotten some good clips with it this is the one i have i think it's 215 definitely worth the money it's really good it is better than the um um it's about the same is well it's better than the prototype um, I have this. I got it from a pack. It's decent. I think it was like 90 coins. So I would recommend this if you don't have the mo enough money for either of these. Um, next up. Wow. I have this 295. In my last video, if you've not seen it, I said this was 295 because I went against a guy who had it. This is the same price as this. I would recommend this if you have the money. It's an incredible sniper. It really is one of the best in the game. So is this. This is. I don't need it because I have this and it works perfectly fine. But if you're in the market looking for a new sniper, definitely get this. It's from the trader. It's 195 gems. Moving on. This gun is insanely overpowered for its price. I would definitely recommend getting it. Um, but yeah. If anyone looking for a new heavy that's only a low level and doesn't have a good price rate, that doesn't have a lot of money, definitely go for this. It's only 40 coins. Next up, moving on to the big fatality gun. This gun, if you hold it and you let it charge to its max it's overpowered. If you just only do it, not bad, but as good as it can be. If you hold it for a few seconds, I have it and I would recommend it. It's pretty cheap. I got it from a pack as well. This one is not really, I don't think it's worth the 215. It's worth maybe 150. Don't waste your money on this. This is definitely worth the money. It's a really good thing. I don't need it because I already have this. But I wonder if it has an efficiency of 18, fire rate of 71, capacity of 1, mobility of 65. Moving on. I think this is about it. I would definitely recommend it because it is pretty good. It only has a capacity of 6 now. But I would recommend it to anyone who looks, who's looking for a new one. Who's a level, level 12 or above. Um, efficiency of 19, fire rate of 82, capacity of 6, and mobility of six, of 50. Next up, don't buy this itself. Um, definitely. Um, about 315 or 300. Here, let me check. I don't remember how much I paid for this. Let's see. Okay, I paid 315 for I would also recommend getting the sword soul card, but I don't want it because I have better stuff, so I don't need it. Anyway, 
I would definitely recommend games, which are a lot harder to get, but it's really worth the money. I've been clapping kids all day, and it's helped me make a ton of money off of it. Definitely recommend it. Efficiency of 24, it's a mythical siege mode gauntlet. Fire rate of 65, capacity of 18, and mobility of 40. And moving on. Next, we have a Deno Man. This gun is actually really good. It's worth the 165 and has an efficiency of 25, 23 my bad. The worst part about it is definitely the capacity. It has a good fire rate and mobility and is a level 15. It's just a waste of money. And these crafting things are just stupid. Next armor, not really a lot to say about it. Here's my outfit that I brought. I have all these boots, and skins, I have a lot of skins, but I don't really care because I can only use the one, but modules, gadgets, I already went in detail about these, pets, um, okay, another thing I would definitely recommend for people who are trying to make money, definitely click your crafting Wait, what? Okay. Um, never mind. Anyway, click buildings. Don't really buy the gates or any of this fences or any of this. We'll buy these. The reason you should buy these. For example, I'll click on the Panthea though. Ads gives a chance to ignore damage. Plus, meaning it gives you a higher chance than something like this. Or this. This one gives you a double plus chance to ignore damage. I would definitely recommend these. And they add a cool look to your base. But the devices I would recommend are either the treasury. Which gives you three coins every day. I think this was 125. They're both 125. And gives you one gem every day. Um, I would recommend these because they're giving you free stuff. But... Stuff like the gates and the fences, like, it's just a waste of money. Don't get them. Anyway, now I'm just getting an egg. And I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Real quick, I'm gonna open the chest, see what I get. Let's see what I get. Oh, I'll just open two more of these. Oh, I have a free one as well. That's good. I guess I can open three in that case. Always try to get um that's what I always aim for. Alright. Alright, I think I'm gonna leave the video off there. I hope you guys did enjoy this. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Peace out. I love you guys. See you in the next video.